The nine articles Meghan Markle says prove the Daily Mail's agenda. Duchess of Sussex is suing the newspaper for breaching her privacy by publishing a letter she sent to her father about the breakdown of their relationship. Here are the nine articles. Compton, number one. Harry's girl is almost straight out of Compton. Gang scarred home of her mother revealed. So he will be dropping by for tea. Mail online, November 20th, 2016. Just three weeks after Harry and Meghan's relationship was first revealed, Mail Online ran a background piece about Crenshaw, the neighborhood in Los Angeles where Meghan's mother, Doria Raglan, was said to be living at the time. The article described the area as gang-scarred, drew attention to high crime rates, and described homes there as tatty. Meghan grew up in Englewood. Uh, she was mostly raised by her father from the age of 11. Doria was is unaccounted for, and... I, I threw cards on it. I believe that she was in prison for more than five years. Uh, her father was quite wealthy, very well paid. He's an award-winning uh, lighting designer, and she grew up in actually a very nice area. And on her on her uh, resumes, she claimed her race as Caucasian. Okay, so she sold herself as a Caucasian on you know, and not uh, a black person. Number two, the Hub Community Kitchen. Quote, kitchen supported by Megan's cookbook is housed inside mosque, which has links to 19 terror suspects, including Jihadi John. Mail online, November 20th, 2018. The story claimed the mosque was linked to 19 terrorists, including the infamous Mohammed M. Wazi, better known as Jihadi John. This is true. The mosque is linked to 19 terrorists. He is thought to have been involved in the murder of Western hostages, including journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff and aid work worker Peter Kassig. Megan's legal team wrote the connection made between the Hub Community Kitchen, in which Megan worked with those affected by the Green Grenfell tragedy as part of a cookbook, which became a New York Times bestselling book. So Megan wrote a cookbook in association with Grenfell Towers. What I am wondering is is the surrogate uh is the first surrogate for megan a muslim woman associated with the hub community kitchen because we saw some very young muslim women wearing the hijab who were very huggy and touchy with megan and she just keeps going back there so a lot of people think that the surrogate is from the hub community kitchen samantha the panther three how megan markle's australian aide samantha the panther cohen rose from a Brisbane home to Buckingham Palace before, before becoming the second aide to walk out on the difficult Duchess, Mail Online, December 10th, 2018, or Duchess Difficult. The suggestion that Samantha Cohen, who was private secretary for both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, walked out on Meghan or that she did so because Meghan was difficult to work for is untrue as well as damaging. Ms. Cohen, who was a highly respected and dedicated member of Her Majesty the Queen's staff for 16 years, personally chose to come out of retirement in order to working in order to work for Meghan. The Queen asked, specifically chose Samantha Cohen, handpicked her as a very excellent staff person to run Meghan's staff, and she didn't last and she left. So we need to look at. Did Samantha Cohen quit? Is Megan Duchess difficult? Number four, avocados. Megan's favorite avocado snack is fueling human rights abuses, drought, and murder. Daily Mail, January 22nd, 2019. That's kind of funny. Um, the story was introduced detailing Megan's passion for the fruit, avocados, and describing how she once served avocado on toast to a friend, Daniel Martin, the crying hairdresser. For all their health benefits and tastiness, the fact is that rampant avocado production in the third world has been linked with water shortages, human rights abuses, illegal deforestation, ecosystem destruction, and general environmental destruction. That's hilarious, frankly. The baby shower. We got to look at this one. Doria Raglan spotted alone in LA while daughter Meghan Markle parties with famous friends at her $300,000 baby shower. Mail online, February 20, 2019. It was a $500,000 baby shower, and she 
went back and forth in a private jet supplied by Amal and George Clooney. Okay, Meghan Markle was feted by her newfound celebrity pals and recent co-stars on Wednesday at a posh baby shower held at The Mark in New York City while across the country her mother was seen walking alone in Los Angeles. So literally, Meghan is partying uh, in New York City with the A-list celebrities, Amal Clooney, uh, Priyanka Chopra. No, Chopra didn't make it. Uh, Serena Williams. And her mother was in L.A., okay, walking the dog. And, and so we have to ask, was Doria invited? The next four are all Frogmore Cottage, okay? I think that's hilarious. And so... Number six, luxury on tap. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry splash up to 5,000 pounds on a handmade copper bath for Frogmore Cottage. Number seven, Meghan and Harry splashed out 5,000. Okay, that's the copper bath. Six and seven are the same. Meghan and Harry forked out 500,000 on soundproofing Frogmore Cottage because the planes fly right over it. Number nine, they could have moved next door. Fury, as it emerges, Harry and Meghan spent... 2.4 2.4 million pounds of your cash on Frogmore Cottage to escape the rift with Kate and William, and the final bill could hit 3 million, June 25th, 2019. We need to know, do they plan to reimburse the UK taxpayers and the sovereign grant for the Frogmore renovations? And the total price tag is $3.1 million, and I believe they're broke. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. These are the nine articles proving the Daily Mail's agenda against Meghan Markle. Uh, I chose this uh, Frogmore. This is the Frogmore Cottage since that's Frogmore House and then Frogmore Cottage in the circle. I chose this because the last four are all Frogmore Cottage. Um, Oops. Got to stop bumping my camera. Okay, so the first question is item number two. Is the surrogate, is the first surrogate from Megan a Muslim woman from the Hub Community Kitchen? Because we, you know, she wrote a cookbook there. We saw her there quite a bit. uh, And she's a very strong supporter. So let's look at Megan Markle and the Hub Community. Let's see what the relationship there is. Megan Markle. odd and the hub community oh what odd cards mm, that's odd okay so specifically I was looking for the surrogate okay water into wine that is a birth card crossroads coffin secret Secret birth and two or more nine and eight, 17, five hearts, two change cards. What do we have over on Megan's side? We have strength, which is rooting. Okay, we have birth and rooting here. We have roadblock and incubus succubus 11 and 11, 22, six diamonds. We have many people and we have two or more. Down here in the shadow, we have. Trinity and Roses, six, two diamonds connected to... So there's more than one person at the Hub community. She may have have several surrogates at the Hub community. Uh, Finger of God and Veil, another secret card coming from outside. There is a secret connection here. And coming from outside, she may have been, like, told that she should connect to the hub community. So six spades is a selfishness card here. Five spades, she's overcoming an obstacle in her in her rooting and she's interacting with the many people. So that would be a surrogate. She has a problem. Okay, this definitely could be a surrogate over here. And I think there's more than one surrogate from the hub community. So they could have chosen two surrogates or even three surrogates. Uh, and those babies would have gone elsewhere. The ones not chosen would have gone elsewhere. <clears throat> so, yeah, she she's overcoming a problem uh, 
by going to the hub community. So that would be good for surrogacy. Here's birth, secret, secret birth and two or more. And five hearts. Yeah, so reacting to the problem. So I, I actually do think there, the surrogate is, there's two or more surrogates, I would just say two, at the hub community. Okay, a lot of people think Archie's in South Africa because the sur surrogate's in South Africa. Now, she could have been at the hub community and then traveled to South Africa. I don't know. There are Muslims in South Africa. Um, Roses and Trinity working together for the sweet appearance and committed to two diamonds, committed to working together for the sweet appearance and sent there from... So, Megan is solving a problem by connecting to the hub community and they're being very secret about it and they're helping her with her problem okay so i do i think there actually were two or more surrogates at the hub community that's maybe what i'm thinking okay now we have uh, megan markle partying at the five hundred thousand dollar baby shower in new york city she goes out the side exit uh, to allegedly avoid the paparazzi, but it, it exposes her perfectly to the paparazzi. We get a beautiful shot of her, of her completely flat tummy. Okay, she had, uh, you know, walking in, she had an enormous, you know, 12-month pregnancy going on, and walking out the side exit, she had a zero-month pregnancy going on. So, hopefully I'll post that, I'll I'd like to post that picture up, hopefully. We'll see. Um, so, was Doria invited to the baby shower? You know, what was, what was going on there? Because people are saying, oh, she wasn't invited. So, Megan and Doria. Megan. Doria. Boy, was Doria invited to the baby shower? Okay, well, we have, we have two really good twos. Their relationship was excellent, four and three, seven. So, seven, two clubs, three twos, two, two, two. So she was definitely invited, and they were talking about it. Uh, Megan, son, star Bethlehem, yes, 10, 17, five hearts, reacting to circumstances. This is a really important event to her. This baby shower, she was like, she was living her best life. You know, she was loving it. She absolutely loved it. This was her moment in the sunshine. She got to live her really opulent, wonderful, you know, royal life and be lavished with gifts and get all the attention. She loved it. And Doria was invited. And their relationship was solid at the time. Underneath the surface... We have Cornucopia and Hamster Wheel. Working on the money. 18, five diamonds. She is busy working on the money. Now there's allegations of jewels that have gone missing and money that was transferred uh, out of the palace. You know, and then Megan was not allowed to touch the, the Diana, any of the crown jewels anymore. So some of them may have gone missing. That mm, something, working hard, something about money. And here we have 12, three spades. We have scapegoat, scourge, and straight razor. All conflict cards cast out repeatedly. And so there's something weird. There was some, some kind of real drama going on about the money at that time. And it's associated with Doria. But Doria and Megan were getting along swimmingly. And absolutely, if it was, if it was convenient, Doria would have come to the opulent uh, shower. So there was no conflict between Doria at that time, Doria and Megan. But there was a conflict associated with the money. So I don't know. I, you know, there's lots of things that could be. Okay, we have Samantha Cohen who was handpicked by the queen to, you know, run in front of, you know, to be her top uh, aide, Megan's top aide, which is a very nice thing for the queen to do. I mean, that's the queen really taking care of, 
of Megan, you know, just putting the best people around Megan. Okay, and Samantha Cohen is the best people. She was in the palace 16 years, and then she retired, so she's like the best person, and then she left. And the allegation is she was, that it's because Megan was Duchess difficult. Uh, Megan was just too hard to work with, and she quit. So did Samantha Cohen quit? Was Megan Duchess difficult? Or not? All right. Because you always put a spin on this. You know, people quit and they say, I'm going to take some time out and spend it with my family. And this is a man who's, you know, a man or a woman who's used to working 16 hours a day, eight days a week, and now suddenly they're going to spend time with their family. What that means is they quit. So, you know, and I've seen that a lot in government. You know, I worked in government, and every time, uh, you know, the presidency changes a whole bunch of positions at the top levels, they, these people just get swept out, and they put new appointees in. And so that's always the excuse. I'm going to spend time with my family. I'm going to, you know, pursue other interests, things like that. It's just, it's just word salad. So whenever anybody is speaking word salad to you, just always know that they're lying. If the words don't make sense, it's always a lie. Okay, which I'm not saying that Samantha was lying, but mm, let's see. That's kind of a generalized excuse. Okay, so did Samantha Cohen quit? Fox, very wisely played, 12 and 1, 13, four hearts, family. She wants to stay in good with the family, and it's all about the public appearance, and it's just very wise, very wisely worded to stay in good with the, the royal family because she wants to be able to come back and it's, it's definitely a statement for the public. Okay, so whatever went on, she's not telling you anything about it. So under the surface, we have full stop of the relationship and the uh, connection. Eight and nine, 17, five hearts reacting to circumstances. So something happened. There was a blowout between... Megan and Samantha Cohen, and they just couldn't get along. And nine spades is the I quit card. Okay, full stop to the relationship. Something happened, and Samantha Cohen said, no, 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 I, I have to go. I can't work here. Okay, and so she gave a very carefully worded statement uh, for the public. So she did quit. Samantha Cohen definitely quit. Uh, yeah, and it was a relationship conflict. So there's all kinds of things that are alleged. You know, it's alleged that uh, Megan threw tea at somebody. She screamed at uh, someone else in front of Kate, and, and Kate ended up crying. Uh, at, she was, uh, Megan was reprimanded by the queen at her wedding, said, you know, you don't treat people like that. Uh, so, and, and never before in history have so many people quit out of the royal family than with, you know, Meghan and Harry. I mean, it's just the body count is staggering. So uh, there's definitely, Meghan is a bit of a diva. All right, so the last four were Frogmore Cottage uh, and, and the renovations. And the tally is $3.1 million. Do Meghan and Harry intend at this time to pay back the the three point one million dollars for the renovations to the sovereign grant because I actually think they're broke. Do they intend to pay back the three point one million dollars? Because they really need to. Do they intend to? Okay, on the surface, Magi manifesting it in the permanent relationship and four-leaf clover opportunistically. 24, six spades. There's an underlying selfishness to this. Okay, but yes, absolutely, they intend to pay it back. That's what's on the surface. We're going to pay you back. But six spades, it's subject to what they want and what they need and what's going on with them. It's opportunistically subject to what they need. And if they just can't afford it, they're just, they're just not going to pay. Okay, and there's no evidence that they've paid a single penny yet. 
Okay, so that's the six spades. That's the four clubs and the six spades. But yes, they are stating they intend to pay, and they intend to pay, but, you know, who knows? What's underneath? We have snake, player, home, two spades, and man. Man is man or direct action. We have a man and uh, this could be Harry, Megan, and Archie. Megan's a divorced woman, so she can show as a queen of spades. I don't really think that's, probably that's not it, but let's read it. Okay, so four hearts is the family, the man breaking from the family, uh, and Megan and Archie. Or difficulties with the money. Jack of Diamonds is a great money card. Having problems with the money. Uh, setting up their new home. And for Harry. So underneath, there's a lot of problems between Megan and Harry. I don't believe they're together. I don't believe Archie's with them. You know, uh, if this is Archie, Archie's showing as a player, a stand-in, an actor, uh, you know, here and gone. So there are definitely a lot of problems in the family of Harry, Meghan, and Archie. There's a lot of problems. Okay, uh, also, this is a lot of long, this is serious difficulties with money in the family. Yeah, so there's just, there's two ways to read this. This is problems specifically with money. Uh, and it's also just problems in the family, which are all the same thing. They're having a lot of problems. I think they're they're getting a divorce, and I think Harry is probably in England or in Africa right now. So they do intend to pay it back, but it's subject to the vicissitudes of life and the whims of, you know, did Meghan just spend $12 million on a house without Harry's consent? You know, it's subject to those kinds of things. And it's, it's a moving target. But yes, they do intend to pay it back. But there's nothing here that says, oh yeah, they will pay it back. They're just saying they're going to pay it back. And we, you know, we hope it works out. Okay, and it's $3.1 million. Which should not be a huge stretch for them. But it is. I mean, one penny seems like a huge stretch for them. All right, let's review. Meghan Markle and the hub relationship. And specifically, I wanted to know if there's a surrogate there because there were some very young, very pretty, hijab-wearing uh, ladies there who were pregnant uh, and who gave, you know, long hugs to Megan every time. Uh, that's not unusual, you know, uh, that there are pregnant women there because they're, you know, they, they have good family values and they want to have a lot of children. Okay, so with Megan in the hub... Uh, they were helping her with a problem. Okay, so yeah, six spades is a... She, can, she has a problem. She's not able to bear children. She's just not able to bear children. The six spades, like abortions and illnesses and whatnot in her body. She's not able... And, and Jack of Clubs is great for the health of the body. Okay, so there's problems with the health of her body and they're helping her deal with it. But there's definitely more than one. This is six diamonds. This is five clubs two or more. So there's two or more surrogates and and she was sent there by someone. Someone sent her there like, oh, go to the hub community. You know, they'll help you out. So yes, there, this, there was two or more surrogates at the hub community. Was Doria invited to the baby shower? Absolutely, definitely no question about it. It was a huge deal for Megan, and she just loved it. it. She loved all the attention. She loved all the lavishing and the money and the gifts. She loved it. But something very, something was going on under the surface, and it's about money. Something was definitely going on under the surface about money, and that's what prevented Doria from coming. So I'm not sure what that is. It could be a lot of things we can speculate, and we have looked at things in other readings. Did Samantha Cohen quit? You bet she did. She quit. She couldn't get along with Megan. She just couldn't get along with Megan. Something happened. Maybe she threw tea at her. Maybe she screamed at her. Maybe she never, you know, listened to her advice, but never followed it. Be you know, that's kind of Megan. Megan doesn't seem to follow anybody's advice, and that's 
problematic for an advisor, a very wise, very skilled courtier in the palace like Samantha Cohen, who, who knows all kinds of things that you and I don't know and has all kinds of, you know, pearls of wisdom to give to Megan. Uh, and if and she's just not following it and not trying and not open to this instruction, well, what is Samantha doing there? You know, maybe she wants to go back to retirement, you know, doing whatever she was doing. Okay, are they going to repay the Frogmore? Do they intend to repay? Absolutely, they say they're going to do it. Okay, but Magi is manifesting it, you know, like I'm, you know, it's, it's, they're going to do it. They say they're going to do it, but there's just so many problems right now that I don't see it happening right now, but they say they're going to do it. And I think they have the good intentions, but it's really subject to a lot of things. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who've uh, bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.